Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Uh, welcome. If you've uh, been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I may, I uh, talk mainly about crochet and I'm a new knitter, so sometimes there's some little excerpts about that and a little bit of a life and all those type of things. So if you are new to my channel, I live uh, just outside of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So just a few housekeeping tips, uh, items first of all is um, I did a giveaway a few weeks ago. I drew the winner last Monday. That winner still has not claimed their prize. So if you did not watch the, if you entered in the giveaway and you didn't watch the follow-up video yet, uh, please do so as that winner has not claimed their prize. I should have redrawn by now. Um, just haven't had a chance yet. So I will in the next day or two though. So, you know, please check out that video if you entered and have not watched the follow-up. Um, so I'm just glance towards the window and there is a squirrel walking along the top of the hedge, which from this angle looks like it's walking along the top of the couch because it's perfectly in line with the top of the couch in front of the window. Um, so this is my weekly catch up video of my crocheted items, what I've been up to and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, we have Mother's Day on Sunday and if you are a mother or a fur mom or any of those type of things. I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, I hope you did something to celebrate um, and all that kind of stuff. My Mother's Day, um, it wasn't that exciting. Um, my husband bought me um, some flowers and a card. Um, my kids wished me a happy Mother's Day and spent some time with me, which is um, more than I can ask for. That's what I appreciate is them just spending some time with me. Um, my kids do live at home still. They're adults, but they still, young adults. So they, but they still do live at homes. One's 20 and the other one's 26. Um, but you know, they're busy. Well, the one's busy. I don't necessarily see him every day. He works an off shift a lot of the time. Um, so sometimes I, I'll go for a week where I don't, well, almost a week where we don't see him. Um, so what else did I do on Sunday? I talked to my mom. Um, I did not see her. She lives a little bit too far away. Um, but I will see her in about, I think next Sunday she's coming to visit. She's just coming to stay for a night. Um, on their way to travel somewhere else, they're going to stop in here, um, for a visit for one night. And, um, we are going to dog sit their dog for them while they are traveling so um that is my upcoming so what else have I been up to last week I had a um, little bit less time to crochet and knit and all those kind of things as I like to just because of doing anything other things here the weather has finally started to get warmer um we had like yesterday I think it was they were forecasting a high of 23. I don't know what the high got to. 23 is about 23 is about 73 or 75 Fahrenheit, I would guess. Um, so that's the first day that's been quite warm. Um, I run cold all the time, so I wear a sweater until it gets like hot outside. So yesterday it was nice to be able to take off my sweater for a while. Um, and it was a beautiful sunny day and we are supposed to have similar weather again today. Unfortunately, uh, these are work days for me, so I won't be able to enjoy it that much, but um, I will try to get outside at least at lunchtime to eat my lunch and maybe for a bit after work today. I don't have any traveling to do today. Yesterday I had to travel for work. Um, so I was out and about in my car, which was nice in the sun. So it was a good, it was a good traveling day for that reason. Um, so let's get on to what crochet items and knit items you've been up to for the last week. And I finished something, which, um, feels like an accomplishment after a busy week. 
So I finished it yesterday. I have been, um, I am a new knitter and um, the first couple items that I made were dishcloths and I decided to, for my next item, to try to make a Ross hat. So um, I think I did pretty good. I do have a pretty significant mistake right at the end though. You will see my hat is quite teepeed. Um, yeah, the last probably, excuse me, um, I don't know how many rounds that was. So when I was supposed to start decreasing at every round, that was the part I didn't do. I kept decreasing every other round, so it ended up very teepeed. So, um, I wasn't going to go back and frog it out because at that point I think it was still... We had decreased from 80 stitches down to 45 stitches, and that's just too many. There's no way I could pick up that many stitches and knit and not drop them. So the hat is staying as it is. So I will show you what it looks like. So I think it looks pretty good for my first knit hat. Um, it actually looks, my daughter tried it on, and she has a smaller head than I do. And as a slouchy, the TP part isn't too noticeable and it looks pretty good actually. So um, this cat will probably end up in the Goodwill bag, excuse me, the donation bag, wherever it ends up. Um, I'm not sure which donation place I'll take it to, but it'll probably end up in there. And hopefully somebody will enjoy it. It has a few other mistakes. Um, there were some places in the ribbing where I knitted where I should have purled and that kind of stuff. Um, typical new knitter type issues. The other thing is I, I imagine that my count got off and that's the reason why I made the mistakes, but I, I managed to correct them and the ribbing doesn't look half bad. There's a few spots where there's mistakes, but it's not too bad. And they're all in the first couple rounds. So I think there's one right there. So they're all in the first couple rounds, so it doesn't look too bad. Um, so I made this with Yarn B Fireplace Comfort, and this yarn was given to me in my, um, yarn swap that I did a little while ago. She was in the States, so she sent me a bunch of, um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's yarns, which is really cool. Um, so this is out of there, and I'm just amazed how much less yarn you use in knit, um. I think if I was to crochet a hat, I would use almost this whole skein. Um, as it is, I have plenty left to make another hat. I weighed my hat yesterday and it's about um, 62 grams and I still have another something like 87 left on the skein. So I have plenty for another hat or um, I can make another cowl or something like that. So um, I need to decide what I'm going to make for my next knit project because I'm trying to keep a knit project going constantly so that um, it's not it's not something that you know I still have to think about it so um, I need to keep it up so that it's not something that I forget because that's the way that I work I have to keep doing things or else I lose them so um, I need to think of my next knit project and I'm kind of I think I'll get bored if I finish this skein now so I think I'll put it aside and um, make a hat or a cowl or something with the rest of it I'll decide um, but I think I'll make something else for now I just need to come up with what that will be so that is that item so my next item is um, my gnome this is the pattern for my gnome that I'm working on this is love me gnome by um, Pam Pino um, and I will link it in the description box below. Um, it is a paid for pattern. I purchased it on Etsy from her Etsy shop. Um, it's, uh, this is not my first Pam Pino design that I've made. I really enjoy her patterns. Um, yeah, so here's the item pieces that I have for it so far. So I think I showed the arms before and I finished the hat. It has a pipe cleaner in it. So I can bend it later to be its way it needs to go. And I started on the body. I had more done, but um, I missed one of the rounds. So I frogged it back and 
I'm fixing the body. So I had it almost done and I, I had to go back about halfway. So um, that's where I'm at with the gnome. The gnome I'm making from a sheepies katona. Let me see if I can show you in here. Sheepies katona. And this time I used um, a 2.5 millimeter hook just to see how it comes out differently. And this is my tulip hook. Um, the last one I made with the 2.2. Um, and I think I like the 2.5 better. We'll see once it's done. I will compare them and just see which one I like better. And then I will decide for the next one I make. Because I do have another gnome lined up that I need to get started on as soon as I finish this. So I need to get it finished because the next one is a gift. And it's um, a birthday gift, so I need to get started on it so I don't run out of time. So that is my gnome. So my other item that I've been working on a lot that if you've um, been watching my channel that you know about is my rainbow sampler. This is my one of my longer term projects. It's taking me longer to do. Um, this pattern is by Kirsten Ballering. Um, it is a free pattern on the website and I will link it below. It was originally a cal, I believe. Um, and I've made it to, I think I'm on part seven. Um, my printed copy doesn't show the parts. It's just um, an, a synopsis, like it tells you what you need to do on each row. Um, so that way, and I like that because that way I can read it and take them off as I go rather than using website where you can't, you know, keep track so easily. And so I like printed patterns for that reason that and I crochet a lot while I'm watching TV and I don't want to have to get out my phone or my computer to keep looking at um, what the pattern is all the time. So that is the sampler and here's what it's looking like. Try not to knock over my coffee here. So I bought the kit for this and the kit is Sheepy's Color Crafter. And here is where I'm at. So ended off. So I ended off with, I'm not sure I'm showing you the right side here. I ended off, I was just finished this white section, but I hadn't done the, what is it called? Where you crochet on top of the, what's already there, surface stitches. So I had surface crochet. So I hadn't done this lime section. Well, it's not really lime. This green section here on top of the white. I finished the white, but I hadn't done this yet. So finished the surface crochet and did some clusters and some popcorns. Um, I haven't looked to see what the next sections are yet. I need to, um, I don't have enough room here to keep all of my skeins of yarn for it. It came with um, 28 skeins in the kit. Um, 25 different colors so I don't have enough room to keep all that here I've been I keep it down in the basement and I um, I go and get like five or six skeins at a time and bring them up and uh, put them either here on my craft cart or I have a little cubby under the table that I put them in um, so I need to get the skeins out for the next section then put some other colors and um, look at and see what's coming up next because I haven't checked yet so that is my items that I've worked on this week. I haven't worked on, um, I'm making a colored cotton blanket. I haven't had a chance to work on that at all. Um, and that is it for this week, I think. So um, thank you for hanging out with me. If you um, enjoyed watching this video and you would like to like it and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that. And um, again, thanks for spending time with me today, and I will see you next time on Glory Hooks. Bye.